Once upon a time, there was some. I don't need a robot, robot. So right, so there's either a night four still, or we're getting into the extra content now. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of new sh shit for the event. <laughs> I'm gonna pause the recording and let this go play out. I have other stuff to do anyway right now. I need to. I want to play more Ender Lilies again. <laughs> Anyone know Gillette? He's one of those YouTube channels that specialize in doing no hit runs for games. And he apparently made a video for Ender Lilies. That got me thinking about the game again. <laughs> I'm glad Millie introduced me to it. Their music for the game fits so well. And it is a great game. One of the few matches I actually enjoy because I personally don't like the genre. Probably gonna get a lot of hate for that. For me saying that. But I speak only the truth of my opinion. And the thing is, I'm not in the minority. I'm sadly in the majority. <sighs> Which is weird because I don't like roguelikes. And the majority of people love uh, roguelikes. But it's the opposite for me for Metroidvania. Because like, here's the thing. You guys notice modern Metroid these days is more linear than it is Metroidvania. The developers have been going away from the format that they invented and worked well because they don't have faith in it. The newer modern developers working on Metroid, because uh, it isn't the same studio producing them from Nintendo, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Metroid nowadays feels more like Especially other M, not other M. The most recent one, fucking what's it called? Prime. Fuck, I forgot. Whatever, you know what it's called. <laughs> it's less dungeon key like in its design. Because yeah, people. 
a majority of people don't understand or enjoy the gameplay style of Metroidvania. A lot of people, they like playing 2D platformers because they're a nice linear experience, you know? You start at the left, you move to the right until you reach a flag, and then you do it all over again. A Metroidvania doesn't do that. In a Metroidvania, you start off, and then depending on what kind of game that Metroidvania is, you can go left or right. There is no such thing as a wrong answer, but there isn't such a thing as a right answer either. You just pick a direction and go. And the world slowly expands. It's not about reaching goals. It's about expanding your horizons. And people don't like that. People are like my mom. They're goal-oriented rather than progress-oriented. That's why simple games really speak to a casual audience. Unlike games like open world games. That's why people like Tears of the Kingdom more. A lot of people like Todd K more than Batu because there's a lot of goals for you to achieve there. A lot of checklist checks to check off the checklist of checks. And like Breath of the Wild, which is m a more focused experience, a more tranquil and calm experience. Huh. And I guess that's why Animal Crossing is also really great because it's also a very goal-oriented experience. And it's something you do in short bursts, dailies. It's basically a gacha game, but it actually costs money and it, you don't need to pay anything for unless unless it's the mobile game Animal Crossing, which I'm pretty sure is dead now, which is a little sad. Now it's part of freaking Uh, what do you call it? Dead content that needs to be archived. Bruh. I swear every Endura has the exact same personality. Except for maybe Nino. So I guess, I guess Chelsea's a bit of an exception as well. They're so overprotective. Oh, this guy's trying to level up me now. Cringe. I'm sticking to those words. Nino is cringe. I'm still pretending I have. Me I'm still pretending I have eleven. is adorable. I will succeed this time. Clean is adorable. Woodbang, 10 out of 10. Oh! Are you here to see me, Chief? Feel free to take the time to look at the new Faye, supplies. Faye, I too. would bang with a gun. In the head. With the entire magazine. My god, it's so nice not having fucking Ignis being annoying with the yellow thing. Oh. I guess I should get money to level up crime brands. That's another <laughs> relevant and important aspect of characters I need to get right. Oh, it's already pretty bulky as is, but... Yeah, 
yeah, because I'm pretty lazy. This is a fight. Yeah, just bring Langley. I don't have much to contribute on the front line. I'll count on you guys. You've got some nerve to show me all those hideous things. I don't feel like dealing with this shit right now. I can hear it. So I am making an AFK team. Shalom. Why do I keep thinking Shalom is old casket? Gosh. Rest for eternity. I have to continue doing the stuff I was trying to do. All we do is keep making phone calls. Yeah, <laughs> the bureau seems to be testing whether our media can be transmitted through radio waves. But it's surprisingly nice to chat with people outside. So many new comics have come out and I had absolutely no idea in the bureau. Weren't you just bluffing on the phone and boring those people to death? That's better than you arguing with them. I heard you made a strapping six foot man cry. How did they even know it was a six-foot man on the other side? He started it first. Stop making up stories, you shameless syndicate. Shut it, you scum of mean nose. Mess told me that herself. <laughs> it's literally just EMP and Hella being the same as ever. <laughs>
What a mess, mess created. NBCC's Whitestone Branch at your service. If you drop by, I'll offer you. The fucking night bowl. Pale bleak, genuineness, real effect. So there's some lyrics for this song, or at least vocals, <laughs> but for some reason it, uh, in the official soundtrack they added vocals, but in here it's just purely instrumental. You make me sick. You make me very, 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 What? Okay, I thought that would work. I think I broke the game and I got a restart. <laughs> There you go. It's less possible, it's just...
not much else I can do though. My only I the only real idea I have is maybe I, if I just try it again. Oh my god. have all suddenly really reappeared. What? They're back? How come there's no news about this? I only heard about it from others too. One of the missing people is the son of a family in our neighborhood. It's like he became a different person after coming back. He insisted on throwing away his computer, phone, and radio. That sounds scary. I know, but to be honest, this might not be a bad thing. Everyone knows that those who went missing are either jobless or some sketchy characters. I heard that family spent quite a few discoins on that virtual thing. I mean, that's their business. Who are we to judge? I'm glad he came back safe and sound. Did they say where he went? No, and on the day they came back, several figures in the public security bureau uniforms surrounded their house. I hope they weren't sold to the private mines north of the city to dig for hypercubes. Yikes. What? <laughs> Hey yo! Hypercubes? I heard they were tricked into doing telemarketing! Oh no, that's even worse! Didn't they make a phone call before they disappeared? I think it's a call to a radio station. That radio station, what's it called again? Call at 3 a.m. Is it call at 3 a.m.? I think I've heard that name. Yes, that's it! No, you don't remember anything. Call it 3 a.m. and everything about it. You don't need to remember any of that. The fuck she can do that now? I mean, I guess that's always been her ability. It's like chameleon. How is it? Subtle sub subterfuge. Or there's a more fitting name for it. But I don't... I don't think it's a good idea to give them candy. again. Today's performance is about to start. Get ready to laugh your head off. I'm here. Execution time.
got some nerve to show me all those hideous things. Hmm. I don't have much to contribute on the front line. I'll count on you guys. Too close. Yep, it cut off. I forgot the voice act. You, you forced, forced me, me to, to do this. this. Hey, she's here to conquer me. I just realized that sounds kind of kinky. I guess those are technically the rules of this, of reality. The rules of our world.
sih. Nino Sama, we adore you. Woohoo, I can't survive in your second without Nino Sama's live stream. Oh, God, Daddy Lewis. I'm going to Clara. I'm going to Clara right here, right now. Nino, this is that. Oh. You don't know Nino Sama? Have you been living under the rock? She's the hottest streamer right now. I have a level 9 fan of her live stream channel. I sent her so many gifts. You know, Sama often reads my comments. Keep to buy water and get changed in the middle of the night. What's up? Need some change again? Ah, uh, no. I just... I saw you tearing the notice off and I was wondering. Have all these people come back? Yes, these have been up for too long. Look, the words on them are all smudged. If they haven't been found, I need to replace them. Remember why they disappeared? I can't read anything like this. Hmm, I really don't remember. They all look pretty young. I hope they weren't sold as hypercube miners to the private mines. her existence what's up with you guys always trying to do that <laughs> at the end of these events <sighs> these side related incidents always cause a scene that much was established back in dreamy bubble and museum of silence so perhaps this is their own form of kindness for Adela's case, it was mostly just selfish, though. Chief, the east side local security precinct called the MBCC and sent it a fanboys behaving abnormally. They apprehended him after a citizen reported him. A stalking fanboy. Hit me. He's a fanatical fan of Nino. Apparently, after watching Nino come out as a sinner in a live stream, he's determined to break into the MBCC and be detained alongside her. Yikes. But he, fig he couldn't figure out the exact address of the MBCC, so he started causing disturbances on the streets. Soka. He got detained on the east side local security precinct in the end, right? That's not the place you want him, but at least he got detained. Guess he achieved half his wish. Yeah, we have no reason to humor people like those. <laughs> what the fuck is this? breaks uh, okay execute 
execution time. Cool. I don't have much to contribute on the front line. I'll count on you getting my hands dirty. I'm here. Kill crazy Good TV. show's about to start. Good show's about to start. The movie is a pretty loop, though. and stuff. That's Anne. I was trying to find where Anne was. <laughs> the name. Oh, aren't you gonna tickle my chin too? Who knows? I might purr a little for you. What? When does, when and where does she say that? That's so fucking kinky. What the fuck? No, it's this guy. Why is he just a silhouette now? Too lazy to give him a non-phone head? Oh. No problem. It's so refreshing to talk to someone like you. How about I take you to see the place tomorrow and then... What, you want me to pay an appointment fee to you first? Um, sir, maybe there's a misunderstanding? I'm not a scammer. I don't need to be lectured by anyone. If necessary, I can show you my company's license. I just hope that you can respect me and respect my work. Hello? Hello? Ah, another failed attempt. What am I going to do about this month's performance? 
calling a radio show or something for publicity might be helpful. The Oh, how nice of you. I knew at first glance that you're no average Joe. Here, please take my business card. Please come inside. Have you considered buying property recently? Our furnished small-sized homes are pretty popular. Hey, where are you going? I just remembered something. I have to go now. It's quite close to here. It won't take up too much of your time. Just 10 minutes, okay? Yes, in that direction. Another 3 kilometers and you'll reach the property, miss. <laughs> Uh. I kind of forgot her voice. No worries. I was walking too fast and didn't notice you. Are you hurt? I am fine. That's good. Thank you for helping me pick this up. Nothing. You seem quite happy. Did something good happen? Ah, so you noticed. <laughs> Actually, I'm the owner of the record store down the road. My store has been doing poorly for a while. Not much business. Most of my records are vintage collections that Eastsiders find outdated. Because the rent is too high. I can't afford to hire staff, so I have to work a day job. I only tend to the store at night. The store was on the edge of bankruptcy, so I was considering just shutting it down. But to my surprise, someone invested in my store today. Hmm. I've been there once before. Your store is very nicely decorated. Really? I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. Owning a record store has been my dream since childhood. I put a lot of effort into it. I've been holding on, hoping that these bygone sounds can ring out again. Thanks to the investment. I could fully commit to running this store. I just resigned today and got new shipments of my favorite records. My apologies, I got too excited and made you listen to me blab for so long. No worries. Seeing you hold on to your dream makes me happy too. You're really kind. Did you meet this investor? Mm, actually, this is where I find it a bit strange. I just received a message and a transfer notice today. The message said that she admires my persistence for my dream and also knows that I won't easily accept gifts. So she hopes to help me by investing and set me to contract electronically. By the way, the signature on the message is a picture of a comp device and a record player. But whenever I call back, the other end is always powered off. Maybe it's someone whom you once helped and touched and now wants to repay you. Anyway. Congratulations on living the life of your dreams. Thank you. Come to my store again when you have time. By the way, my name is Talia. I'll be adding new records often from now on. Alright, I'll definitely drop by. Yeah, I'm looking for Chapter 3, This City Sweet. It's an old song, no one cares about it anymore, but if by chance you have it, no doubt I'll come rushing to you. I'm starting to miss you. Will you come to me? 
I want to hear your voice. Oh, that's pretty rare nowadays. In Fast to Nowhere, but there's another subbing dubbing conflict. Pleased to meet you in this place at this moment. It's okay. We found it. The voice I want most. I guess this phone booth is an urban legend location now. <laughs> Neat. People often feel anxious, becoming frustrated and wanting to vent. But the voice in my heart was telling me that wasn't what I wanted. Call me by my name, please. Call me Levin. Hearing your voice makes me happy. I, we, will always be with you. Hmm, you've got a nice voice too. One that makes your listeners happy. There's nothing left. It's really done now. It's Jover. Well, there are still the interrogations and the rest of the bonus content. I'll go see how much I can record, but I don't think I'll be recording all of it. It's just gameplay. Nothing really important, plus I suck anyway. Plenty of other people will, uh, who has records of them. Oh hey, look at that! It looks nice, honestly. Huh? I just read from the script? Are you kidding me? I'm a janitor, not a broadcaster! Alright, alright, I'll do it. <laughs> due to certain reasons, Miss Levin can no longer work at the radio station. However, dear listeners, we have specially made an online album of Miss Levin's uh, voice. What? If you miss Miss Levin's voice, call 2767 to listen for 150 discords per minute? What the what? hell? It's so exciting. <laughs> uh, oh, I wasn't supposed to read this part out loud. Uh, anyway, <laughs> hurry up and make the call. Miss Levin's private voice is reserved for you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was the janitor Levin knew. More kitty ASMR. You love to hear that pussy. My god, why did I word it like that? Oh my god, I'm gonna stop here. Someone's eating potato chips. I'm Luke. Welcome to Dis City Traffic. Welcome, everyone. I'm Bonnie. Oh, right, Bonnie. Did you know that the ghost call urban legend has been solved already? Really? Luke, I see you've got some news. Share it with me and our listeners. This is inside information. Midnight Ghost Calls was actually a mania incident. The Ooh, chief of the NBCC get... solved it. NBCC? Oh, the legendary bureau that uses sinners for operations? That can't be real. Sinners are so dangerous. There's no way that it exists. It's real. I have a friend whose uncle's neighbor's elementary school classmate works right next door to NBCC. Relax. I'm just saying. Dear listeners, do you believe in the rumors of the NBCC? If you do, please call 6799 and tell us what you've heard. We're actually an urban legend. Oh my fucking god.
The FAC is very secretive, apparently. Campbell. Gross, I don't want to associate with you. That's a lot. Yeah, they backloaded the rewards for some reason. For this event. No Fury Sinners, what? Where? Corruptors! Monsters! Don't try to escape! I'll play your game. Fucking watch me. Let's go, Citri. Oh, it's just level it's 45. It's getting foggy. Let me see. Where should I go? Execution time. Got to face that boring, breathing bunch again. Eternity. I like the way those guys walk. They're just so carefree until they start fu fucking punching my sinners to bits. I didn't actually pay attention to what level. The EXs are usually at, at least level 70 already by now, usually at the start. Just put you through the ringer right away. That's it. Not yet. There's not even a special gameplay gimmick. It's just what we've already seen, so I'm just gonna do these in my own time. There's just three of them total. There's just a bunch of bullshit finish requirements like this is freaking this shadows. And then tomorrow there's gonna be the boss fight. You know every event's gotta have those. Guess I'll go buy the consciousness. Wait, 
surface. It Go. Come and eat the fruit I offer you. I didn't mean to clear any level of remnants of the depth. There's no season available! to look at the new supplies, too. to look at the new supplies, too. Uh. It's all right, I give. I have no impulse control after all. I'll get demon normally rather than in the shop. 250 is fucking absurd anyway. It's always better to buy the tickets instead. Oh yeah, I have that red ticket, don't I? Where is it? I swear, that's a mistake. He has an interrogation. Oh wow, it's four phases. Right. Until next time. <laughs> 